My M33 son M15 called my wife F31 a bitch. My son and my wife have already been going through their fair share of problems. But this morning it escalated because my wife had asked him to do something. I was in the shower when this happened while he was in the hallway outside of our building because he had to catch the bus to school. So my wife asks him to do something, and he said okay but didn't do it. He asks again, and he said okay, but didn't do it. Then she said that he had to do it now and that she wasn't playing. He said that he said okay and didn't have to be such a bitch about it. As soon as I heard that, I stepped out but his bus had already came. He's never said anything like this, ever. I get that it's been a stressful time for him and my wife got on his nerves, but it doesn't excuse him calling her a bitch. We will definitely be having a talk about this as soon as he gets home, but I'm still going to decide what will happen because of what he said. His birthday is in two weeks and we plan something for him but I'm thinking about cancelling it because of his actions. Not okay, thanks in advance for the advice. Edit, cancelling his party was said in the heat of the moment, I'm not doing that. Edit, we talked, he said he was having a rough day and his head was hurting. I told him that name calling isn't the way to solve problems, and he apologized to her. I took away his gaming stuff and said he could get it back on his birthday and he said that it was fine. This was a couple hours ago, but he came back with a handwritten apology 30 minutes ago, on his own will too. I'm sure he means it. He's a good kid, sometimes hormones get the best of people sometimes, but it's not an excuse and he knows that. Thanks to everyone who actually helped. You say my wife? Is she his mum? And can you say a bit more about problems? No, she's not his mum. Problems are tension and endless bickering that has been going on. First, I hope you understand that gaming slash not putting things away slash ignoring aren't the real issues here. It sounds like both your son and your wife are having real relationship issues and you are in the middle either by choice or by accident. Why don't you start by asking your son what happened? Listen to his side of the story and don't condemn or get angry at him. Listen to your son. I'm guessing he's going to tell you all kinds of things about how this new woman talks down to him or treats him or runs and tells you everything. Everything. He's had a lot of changes in the last year, new mom, new house, new school. Would seriously talk to him about his stress and anxiety levels and let him know how much you love, support and value him. I would then say that you love and support your wife as well, and when she's called nasty names, that hurts you. Remind him that name calling is never an answer to anger or a disagreement, regardless of who he's talking to. I would then make a plan with my wife that for the next little while, to be determined by you, but start with three months or so, that anything your son needs to do comes from you. He needs to have time to build a relationship with your wife outside of some stranger who's not his mom bossing him around. It's a lose-lose. He's your son. You parent him. This will prevent these petty power struggles from erupting like this. And when I say this, I don't mean that you tell him something and then she follows him around saying well your dad said. I mean that you are the one giving him instruction and holding him accountable, and allowing them space to build their own relationship. Best of luck. My son and my wife have already been going through their fair share of problems. It might be helpful to give some examples, or context and background. I'm going to be honest here, if I was 16, and my father's wife of one year was trying to tell me to do stuff, I wouldn't really take kindly to it. You say you guys have been married for only a year. Is she trying to take over a motherly role? Has she been pushing it too much? Does he even really consider her his stepmom, or just your wife? Honestly, this sounds like he's kind of over her trying to push boundaries. Maybe something that's been mounting for a long time that he's been pushing down, and came out in the heat of the moment. I wouldn't do anything extreme, especially if this is the first time something like this has happened. I'd say sit down and have a conversation without your wife present. She was asking him to move his gaming equipment while he was waiting for the buzz. Emo he should have just been like sorry I left it out, would you please put it away for me so I don't miss the bus? and she should have dropped it at that if he had. Sounds like they might just be fussy at each other in general. 
I'm pretty sure cancelling the birthday thing because of this will only lead to resentment and escalation. Start with a stern talk and ask him where this came from. Why did he find it acceptable to react to his mother that way? You may learn a lot from the reaction. Being a bitch about something may not be as serious as telling her she is a bitch directly in his books. It doesn't make it okay but could let you see his side. And maybe your wife was being bitchy over something small. She's not his mom, she's his stepmom. I won't cancel his party, you're right, he'd be even more mad. Would you suggest for me to only speak with him or speak with him and put a minor punishment in the mix? My, 18 meters, best friend, 18 meters, is dating a freshman, 14f. My best friend is a senior and his girlfriend is a freshman who's only 14 years old. That just doesn't sit right with me. He says that haven't had sex yet, but they've done other stuff, which is still illegal. But the most fucked up part about this, is he says he only likes her because she's really young. I told him many times that this relationship is gross and fucked up, but he won't listen. I would never snitch or rat on him, He's like my brother. How do I get him to stop seeing her? Tell a school counselor or a school teacher. They will be able to take things from there. Tell them specifically about his comment that he only likes her because she's really young. One of the reason that he likes her because she's young is that she will be more naive, innocent and trusting. He will be able to manipulate her more easily. Doing the right thing is hard sometimes. He's gross. Anonymous tip to the police, school, and the girl's parents. I'd send my actual brother to jail for ape of a minor but that's just me. Not sure what your excuse is for being complicit in his crimes. If he's like your brother and he's sexually abusing a kid then the best thing to do is to snitch. Imagine having a 14 year old sister and he's doing that to her. You could protect her and help her out of that nasty situation, but no, you don't want to be a snitch. I guess you don't want to be a hero either. My boyfriend, 32, says that I, 27, don't get mad enough, I'm too nice and it bothers him. We've known each other for a few years but only recently started dating, three months-ish. Due to childhood and some adult trauma I was in therapy for the past three years. At the beginning of this year I decided that I was ready to end my therapy sessions and I think I've been doing really well. I also grew up with five plus siblings. I'm a very patient and level-headed person as a result of a large family and therapy. I don't get mad easily, I'm not a jealous person, and I've seen the terrible things that people can do to one another. I don't throw things or hit people and I almost never yell. I am a very nice and considerate person. I acknowledge other people's feelings and I always give respect. However, I have a strong personality and I don't allow bullshit from other people. I'm definitely sassy slash feisty and independent and I don't take well to being told what to do. I'm very honest but not in a mean way and I expect the same from others. I stand up for myself and others when necessary. If I'm uncomfortable, feelings were hurt or I don't like something, I say it. Therapy taught me to respectfully share my feelings and to surround myself with people who respect that otherwise they shouldn't be in my life. I've learned that getting angry doesn't solve things and that respectful conversations do. That doesn't mean I don't get angry, I definitely do but only when it's warranted. Now onto the issue, he says I'm too nice and that it bothers him. He doesn't understand why I don't yell or get mad or throw things. If he does something to annoy me or piss me off, I just tell him that I don't like it and to not do it again. Last night I did something playfully petty and he loved it. I don't know why but he wants me to be more angry or more annoying. I'm not boring at all, I do spontaneous things all the time and we both really enjoy doing some crazy stuff lol. That's why we get along so well. Sometimes I think I'm a little too crazy that a lot of men can't handle it. I was single for over over a year after countless dates. I don't really know how to handle this, it's very confusing why somebody would want that. When I was growing up my parents fought a lot and lots of things were broken and I never wanted to be that person. I'm just a very chill person. 
communicate and compromise together. If you can't, end it. Ask him how important this is to him, if he wants to leave you over it. And op, don't just change yourself completely to keep him, that will backfire spectacularly on you. Talk it out, come to some sort of agreement and then put it behind the two of you. Now, if the two of you do that and he brings it up again in say a month, ask him what has changed since the last time the two of you talked and both he and you agreed to. If it bothers him enough, it's going to cause problems so get out in front of it now, even if means ending things right now. Thank you, I appreciate the advice. I worked very hard to be who I am today and I won't ever regress. I'll leave before that. Sounds like he had a previous toxic relationship and he is mistaking that for passion or something. To be you. Don't let him change you into an angrier person. That's what I'm kinda thinking. He hasn't told me anything about his ex fiance except that he was cheated on. So maybe that's where this expectation is coming from. Sounds like he's used to drama and doesn't know what to do with a well-adjusted partner. He probably grew up in a household where people communicated by yelling and through anger. It's very common, sadly. Have you asked him why he wants you to show anger to try and get to the root of this issue?